Hey guys. Okay. This is the beginning of a little series I'm doing on how to build one of these. This is a lavalier mic like I'm wearing. And in this series, um, I'll show you how to do it. It's not hard. And this is studio quality. Comes with a little, it's a, goes in a little box. You put a nine volt battery. Where's my nine volt? Anyway, pop a nine volt battery in there. You got a little switch on it. You got a little LED there that glows uh, blue. If, if you can get a red one or a green one or whatever, you've got your, your microphone and I'll show you how to make this. This is better microphone than you can buy. It just is. I, I haven't found one with a better frequency response, a lapel mic. It's omnidirectional, but uh, you might want to try it out on overheads or uh, whatever, but it's especially useful for you guys who do podcast and uh, interview and uh, voiceover work starting out. Of course, you're not gonna beat a really nice cardioid condenser microphone with this, you're not. But this is a good start and it will get you started. It's quiet and, it, and, and, uh, and anyway, I'll show you how to do that. And uh, while I'm on the subject of build your own uh, uh, voice, voiceover booth or area where you, where you do over uh, voice dubbing, uh, you don't need a whole lot, but you do need some, you need, you need a lot more acoustic treatment than most of these booths offer. The reason is the smaller a space gets, the more um, obvious the room resonance becomes. It's not a very low frequency resonance, more of a low mid range. And in this room, I don't know, here, I'm gonna hold my microphone away. In this room, can you hear the room resonance here? Hello, hello. I've got a few, you know, you can see behind me here, I've got some treatment, uh, some treatment panels and stuff. Got a lot of junk in here, so it, it, it kind of uh, bounces stuff around and, and reduces resonances but you can hear the resonance of this room. And this is like, what? Uh, <laughs> maybe 10 by 10, nine by nine room. It's about three meters by three meters, by three meters. Uh, it's, it's a bad room. It's a cubic, it's a cube. Uh, so you're, you're going to have resonances. And so what you want to do is you want to get yourself some very good treatment around you, behind mostly. Since I'm using an omnidirectional microphone, I, uh, you need it everywhere, really. You need some absorption so that you just, or you get closer to the microphone like this. You clip it on to your shirt or, or, or your collar and, and then work that way. So the closer you are to the source, the more level you're sending to your recording device and that, will, that, that reduces your signal to noise, it takes that noise and puts it down because your signal's high, see? Um, uh, treatment's very important. A good mic is very important. And you can start with this. It only costs you a few dollars and a little bit of time. And so uh, w the next few videos is how to, how to build a, 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 a studio quality microphone coming up in 10 parts. I'm sorry, I, 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 video, I videotaped everything. So uh, I, I put it in 10 little sections so that you don't, if you start getting bored with me, I don't blame you. It's, <laughs> it's long, okay? So 10 segments and enjoy. See ya.